To enhance our interior 3D rendering, we can use two different types of lightings, such as natural lightings and artificial lightings. To transform into a more realistic rendering, we should rely more on the artificial lightings, because Inkscape Sun creates harsh shadows. Go to Visual Settings and click on Atmosphere tab. Change the sun brightness into 2% to 4% for the interior scenes. To have a better natural lighting, search for Hedry Images. Click on Hedry Haven. Hedry is a panoramic image that can act as a light source for your interior or as the background images to hide the horizon line. Go to Visual Settings and tap on Sky. Choose Skybox as source. Load Skybox from the file. The image is automatically load. Set the natural lighting to your preferences and rotate the images by using the slider. There are different types of lighting in Inkscape. Go to the Inkscape object, and you can find lighting such as Sphere Light, Spot Light, Linear Light, Rectangular Light, Disk Light, Sphere light is an omni or point light that sends out light rays equally in all direction with single points, which results in gentle fall off in all directions with just two clicks. Adjust the sphere light. Slide the luminous intensity and the light radius to your preferences. Light source radius usually can be seen on mirror or glass due to the reflections to check your lighting effect, it is recommended for you to turn off the auto exposure at the visual settings. Back to setting your luminous intensity. Unlike the sphere lights, the spotlight needs to be placed with four clicks. The first two clicks are to determine the origin of light. Last two clicks are to determine the light's direction. After the light is created, you can slide the luminous intensity and the beam angle to your preferences. Another option is to use the IES file. It has more photorealistic effect on your rendering. Search ieslibrary.com for the IES file. If you have the same light components, copy the spotlight and paste inside the components. Rotate and adjust the lighting. Any changes happen to one of the lightings. It will affect the others too. Linear lights are used for indirect lightings, such as cabinet lights or LED lights. Tap and rotate the light. Center the lights to adjust the size. Slide the luminous intensity until the light effect is shown. Adjust the length of the light. Click Move Tool plus Ctrl to make a copy. Paste and adjust the light. However, if you adjust the copied light, it will affect the original light source. This is due to the lights are the same components. Copy and paste the light into all the empty spaces.
Next is linear light for hidden lightings. The maximum length for the linear light is about 3 meters or 10 feet. The method for the hidden light is same as for the cabinet light. Place the linear lights at the midpoint to estimate the maximum length of the light. If the light cannot cover the whole length, copy and paste the exact same lighting next to each other to create one seamless lighting. Continue copy and paste until the whole area is light up with hidden lights. Disc light also have the same setting as sphere light. In just two clicks, the lights will illuminate. The difference between spotlight and disc light is that the spotlight source is a single point, while the disc light have the same shape at end of the light. Rectangular light is also same as disc light. It is best to use as picture light to highlight the wall art. In just two clicks, the lights appear. Rotate the light by using Move Tool. Point the Move Tool at the side until the Rotation Tool appear. Adjust the lighting. Slide the width of the light to your preferences. Set the lighting with luminous power. Emissive lighting can be used to light up the bulb. Click on the bulb components until the bulb turns blue. Choose C02 or D02 to create cool white effect lightings. Apply the material to the other bulbs. To illuminate the lightings, go to Inkscape Material Editor. Change the material into self-illuminated. You also need to change the downlight material to illustrate the downlight looks switch on. The lighting naturally emits plain white color. To create the mood of the interior, you could change the light source emitted and notice the slight difference of the mood in the interior. Apply the material on picture light and cabinet light. As for lightings for warm effect, choose C04 or D04. If the artificial lighting looks too harsh or too dull, go to the visual settings and tap the atmosphere tab. Scroll down to the illumination section and slide the artificial light brightness to your preferences. You can also adjust the ambient brightness. So, this is the final result of the lighting effects. I hope you all able to follow the tutorial and enjoy doing SketchUp. Good luck and work smart!